Okay, we're going to talk about now a very common problem on the spider guard, on the spider guard retention, which is like when a person is a very tall person, very like long arms, they start to stand up and then pop the foot of the bicep. So that's going to be like a next thing here, and then which is huge, which is a big part of the spider guard game. So basically here, I have the spider guard, then I have like, right, still talking about the defense, I have like a both foot on the biceps, then I'm connect here, okay. So basically, person top is strong. He's able already to like lift my elbows off the ground, which we talk about this. When my elbow off the ground, then now he's vulnerable. Even though if I extend one leg, but this elbow is all the way off the ground, he still can posture up, walk forward, and start to break my grip. So one thing that I don't want to happen is he posture up, break my grip, and then stack me. Put me all the way there. He don't want to be here. Like you can even go margin. Like, really put me here. We don't want to reach on that position. That's not good. We want to anticipate. If I'm on this position, I made a mistake a long time ago. So, when he goes, we talk about a lot to anticipate the movement. I already lost the battle. You know, like, if I can't rotate that, I rotate that, but I couldn't. So what I need to do, I need to give him something. So I'm going to start to, like, pop my foot up. Like, as I want to, like, grab here, Jay. So he's trying to grab, he's trying to pop. So now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick my leg up. Okay? So this is like very big. But when I kick my leg up, I can't hang here. Why? Because my hips is light. He can stack me. It's a quickly movement. Like the moment of that, he's going up. I go up with him. And then I go down. That's a very simple recover here. The first one. So he goes up. I go up. Quickly down to the spider guard. That's very simple. But... Well, most of the time it's not that simple. We're gonna connect the real one here. I go up, then he's able to control my leg. When I drop down, when I drop down here to try to recover my guard, he's already here under, he's already on the knees, he's already controlling here. On the first part here, it's very important to stay connected with your grips. Most of the people, when they get here, they already wanna like a leg go and then push the guy away. No, no, it's still like a lot of things going on here. And my leg is always strong in the person arms, you know? So I'm gonna wait like my leg, he stay heavy on him, which is, he's carrying my weight. It's like almost like dead weight here on my leg. And how can I do that? I cannot just stay like too close to him and then do that. So that's why I move on my shoulder back and then I stay heavy here. He probably like gonna try to connect the grips again. Exactly, like Goje, he's gonna try to do it here and then connect. I don't want him connect the hands yet. As soon as he does that, I open my legs. Always, I open my legs, moving back on my shoulder. Move back a little bit. So he's trying to connect. If I try to open my leg only, what's the detail here? When he's connect, like hugging me here, and then squeezing, that's the most important detail here that's gonna make you remember. When he's connect here, he's strong. If I try to open my legs here when he's out tight here only on the legs, it's gonna be very hard. So I need to make him extend. So how can I make him extend? I just like keep moving on my shoulder back and then my legs stay heavy. So what I'm trying to connect here is as he try to put my legs together, I open to create a space to go on the shoulder to push him back and then recover my guard. Let's get back up again. <clears throat> So he's grabbing, he's gonna pop. So here, I'm gonna stay connect, kick up. So as I kick up here, I drop my hips, try to connect, right? The first one, I try to connect the spider guard back, stand up. So he go up, I try to go one, and then two, go back. When I'm quicker than him. But now he's better than me, I go, and then he drop. I don't let him connect, I drop my legs all the way to the ground. I can't let go of this grip, because if I let go of this grip, his arm is gonna be free. He's gonna push my leg down and then he's gonna start to pass the side. So that's why I stay connect. Like here, he can't pass the side. Try to step over the leg. He can't, you know, like I stay heavy here. Even though if he step over the leg, he won't have his arm here. And then he's gonna give me a lot of leverage to attack him, like to like even take him off balance to the side. I stay heavy. So try to put together the legs. I allow him to put a little bit just to see it heavy, make him extend by moving a the shoulder, then when he tries to posture up, I find a space, and then we go back on the biceps. Let's go back one foot speed, both of them. Start from here, first one, he's popping up, 
right back to the spider guard. Second one, he pop up, I drop. Now look, move on my shoulder, heavy. He's trying to connect, move on my shoulder, heavy legs, foot, reconnect the spider guard, get back on the defense, square with him here. 